man got a married and death certificate same day. Welcome to Gaza Media here at the foot of Mount Fako. I am Jordan Karin, your uncle. And IDP has died in a car accident same day he got married. The man whose name we got as Tadjus Lere has been a teacher for many years and father of four kids. Mr. Tadjus got married in court and while returning, he was involved in a ghastly motor accident which took his life. This resulted to him getting a civil marriage certificate and death certificate same day. Our Gaza media correspondent, Laura Asungani, who shall be all the way to Yaoundé, has more on this. On the 31st of March 2022, a one-of-a-kind incident happened in the capital city of Yaoundé when a man got a marriage certificate and death certificate on the same day, a story considered as news on some social media platforms. An internally displaced person residing in Yaoundé from a store at Tar Fondom, Libya, Lem, Mr. Tadis Lere started his journey of no return on Thursday, 7th of April 2022. Where mourners and sympathizers converge at St. Bernadette Catholic Church Ekono Yawundi to pay their last respect to him in the requiem mass, where the presiding clergyman asked sympathizers to offer daily mass intentions, pray the rosary, and do works of mercy so as to enable his soul to enter heaven. Shortly after the mass was a convey of the mortal remains to the deceased resident. Talking to some family members, they narrate how he passed and their sentiment at the moment. The junior sister, the last born to the disease, had a uh, low rate of use. Uh, he's an uh, ICP, he left the village, stayed in Melo, from Melo. He came now to Yaoundé to Hosu. But on the 31st, he was getting married in court. So he left in the morning, we went to the court in the afternoon. Immediately we finished, we came back. He was coming behind with the uh, junior brother. They had an accident in Acacia. But unfortunately, he died at the spot. And the junior brother is like physically in the hospital. He left behind four kids and a wife. So, I, I don't know how I can say. I really feel bad because it's my elder brother. That is somebody who was like taking care of us. And now he's gone. I really feel bad. So the family has left behind. I don't know. I just pray God to do something because even the wife too is not doing anything. He was the one surviving the family. So the family that he has left behind, I don't know what. I don't know how they are going to succeed. But we just hope in God and trust in God and know that He's going to do something by by the help of others people that are going to raise up the children and the wife. So I'm so so sad losing my brother. Fuck, it's really terrible to me. And I just pray for a quick recovery of this junior brother in the hospital that God should intervene. Thank you. I'm Kemaka Michael. Mr. Loret Adios, the disease is my in law. That's my sister's husband. The wife is my sister. Uh, this accident took us by surprise and uh, it's so unfortunate for us. If you look around, you can see the way the kids are crying. Four kids and a young widow in her early 30s. It's, it's, it's quite an unfortunate situation for us. It's very, it's a very, uh, it's very difficult for us to handle. And uh, we just pray and commit uh, these children, and uh, especially the wife, in the hands of God. Considering the fact that this, uh, this incident occurred on the same day um, his, uh, he had a civil wedding. It's, it's, it's so, so sad. It's so, so, so sad. Yeah. I pray that God Almighty gives us the courage to be able to support this and pull this family through. Late Mr. Tadjus Lere has gone leaving behind a wife, four children, and family members to mourn for him. I am his wife. How will you describe him, Mr. Tadjus? Mr. Tadius Dere as a, was my husband. He got married to me traditional wise on the eleventh or uh, uh, on the eleventh of April two thousand and eleven. We both were living together in the village. He was a, a technical government technical school teacher. 
unprepared he ran away from the village thinking just tell us how you feel now what's going through your head what are your emotions <laughs> After the signature of the God, as we are going on, he told us to be ahead because he wanted to do one or two things. When we arrived at the house, they visited those who, the people that he invited, only had a great dismay, we were told he had an accident at a castle. I left the house thinking that I'm coming to go to the hospital. Unfortunately for me, I met his God line at the top that is where you see me it's ended up with pains you see him lying there i'm short of words i don't know what i can still tell you i to start with the children i have nothing to do with it my father is no more my mother is a patient i don't know where to go with the children I don't know where, I don't know how to start, I don't know. <laughs> the death of a beloved is an amputation. We just brought to you the footages and scenes of the funeral program of the Ukraine mass of late Mr. Tadeusz Lere, who did not have the opportunity to enjoy his status as a legally married man as the hands of death snatched him the same day he signed the civil marriage certificate and he left behind being a struggling IDP he left behind four kids a wife and the rest of the family to mourn for him and it is enough to conclude that this is indeed a sad or unfortunate situation that has befallen the family as a brother with whom we had the incident is still lying sick at hospital Thanks for your kind attention. I am Asungai Laura, a correspondent of Gaza Media, we bring you this event live from Yaoundé. And if you have a similar event that you want us to cover, be it birthdays, be it funeral programs or weddings, please do well to contact the number that is below your screen and we'll get to you.